Well, back here at home, the suspects accused in that gang rape of a 16-year-old girl just arrived at a Richmond courthouse. KTVU's Craig Debro is there right now. He's joining us with a look at what's happening today in that courtroom. Good morning, Craig. Yeah, good morning, Dave. About a uh, half hour ago, three of the defendants arrived here at the Richmond Courthouse, and about 10 minutes ago, the other three, three juveniles, arrived here in the courthouse in Richmond. They're going to be entering police today. This is video from about 20 minutes ago as the adults arrived on a bus from the county jail Martinez. Elvis Torrentes, 21, Manuel Ortega, 19, and Jose Carlos Montano, 18, all arrived together. They are scheduled to enter police today. The three others charged in this case are juveniles. They are being kept at a facility appropriate for juveniles but are being charged as adults all six are scheduled to enter pleas to the charges now what happened on October 24th at Richmond High as national news and tested the limits of what we could believe others might be capable of doing and, and not doing in this case prosecutors say police uh, say a 16 year old girl was gang raped in an alley on school property uh, a girl who has not been identified just left a homecoming dance at Richmond High. She was about to call her dad for a ride home when prosecutors say she was lured over to the alley by one of the six people now charged in this case. Over the next two or more hours, the man and boys raped her. People who walked in and out of the scene during the rape did not call police. Over the next several days, police rounded up and arrested a number of teenagers and men in their early 20s. One was taken right out of class at Richmond High. The district attorney charged all of the suspects with rape and circumstances that could each get each defendant life sentences if convicted. Police arrested but released a seventh suspect. In an article published in the Chronicle earlier this month, the paper says the victim told the detective she thought one of the attackers, she thought of one of the attackers as a trusted friend and knew several others from the neighborhood. The girl says this is all added to her, dra her trauma and pain. Uh, the court hearing this morning to enter pleas is set for 8.30 in the morning, and we'll have a live report later on in the newscast. Reporting live in Richmond, Craig Debro, KT.